What is up guys, Stellboy here. So Andrew Tabiti defeats Ruslan Pfeiffer by a unanimous decision in what was quite frankly a bad fight, let's be honest about it. Where do we start with this one? First and foremost, I felt the right man won the fight, to be quite honest. You know, Tabiti was very low volume. Like I said in the prediction, I said that, you know, Tabiti, he's a guy who I think could be prone to getting outworked. And, you know, he kind of looks for that perfect shot too much. He looks for that counter right hand. He looks for those um, counter shots. And sometimes I think that could be to his detriment. I think you could see situations where he could be getting outworked in fights. And he's, and he's too passive and too... He's too kind of uh, set on trying to find that perfect shot. And I think in in the future, that could lead to him losing rounds. In fact, I think, you know, this fight, he made it way harder than it should have been. I feel if he stepped on the gas, let his hands go, and, you know, actually was a bit more aggressive and a bit more proactive, you know, he would have won this fight more clearly, maybe even got the stoppage. Because when Tabiti connected, although Pfeiffer was never truly hurt, you know, you, you could tell he felt the power, you know. You could tell that he kind of um, it kind of put him into his shell for a bit. So if Tabiti was a bit more active, a bit more aggressive, you know, I think he would have made a much easier job of this fight. But that wasn't the case. Tabiti was very uh, very low volume. Pfeiffer tried to work, but he, he was so, like, he smothered his own work. He was going in with a head. You know, the shots he was landing, a lot of those shots were, like, cuffing around the side of the head, you know, uh, Pfeiffer was um, more active, but, you know, the shots he was landing, they weren't quality shots, some were missing, some were going on gloves, some were getting slipped, but the ones that were landing, you know, not many of them were landing flush. Pfeiffer had a come forward style, but he was very awkward with it, you know, he, he moved his head, uh, he came in low a lot of the time, he jumped in with his head, you know, he, he was a very hard, awkward fight at a time, Maybe that's why Tabiti was struggling to really let his hands go, because the openings weren't there. You know, traditionally, Tabiti, in my opinion, is a counter-puncher. It is clear that he takes a lot of um, inspiration from Floyd Mayweather, you know, but, but he's taking like, inspiration from the Money Mayweather. He's not taking inspiration from Pretty Boy Floyd. You know, Pretty Boy Floyd was a lot more active. He was a lot more willing to let his hands go. He was a lot more aggressive. That's what Tabiti should be striving for, you know. Tabiti, he can't just be looking for counters because he is going to come unstuck in this tournament. By fighting in the, in the style he's fighting now, you know, guys like Glowacki, I really feel he's going to struggle to keep those type of guys off of him. And same as Marius Bradis, you know, Bradis, very skilled boxer, guy who lets his hands go, guy, who, guy who's got power, you know. Listen, going forward... I think Tabiti is a good fighter, but I don't think he's ready for the likes of Glowacki or uh, Briedis, you know, guys like that. Maybe even Adortikos, you know. I think he would struggle in those fights. You know, Tabiti, like I say, he's he's got talent, he's got ability, but there's something missing. Whether that is just inexperience or whether that is a mental thing, I'm not sure. But he just seems so unwilling to let his hands go. And I'm not sure why that is. Is there something mental there? You know, is is he scared of getting hit? Doesn't he believe in his chin? There's something there that, you know, puts him off letting his hands go. You know, it was the same in the Steve Cunningham fight. Cunningham can't really punch, let's be honest. And, you know, Tabiti was very content to cruise in that fight and not really force for the knockout. And that's fair enough, but it just seems like there's something missing there. That's all I'm trying to say. But he won this fight. I felt Pfeiffer, you know, he felt he he fought a dirty fight. Sorry, you know, going in with his head, holding. You know, both guys were holding, but I felt Pfeiffer was more dirty. Um, he actually got a point taken off him in this fight, rightly so. I mean, neither guy covered themselves in glory, but Tabiti done a bit more, as far as I'm concerned. He landed the clearer shots. He landed the harder shots, and you know. Just the better quality overall came from Tabiti. But going forward, I think Tabiti is going to struggle here. I really, really do. That's just my opinion. Maybe Tabiti will actually make the necessary improvements, but I can't see it happening. What do you guys think? Peace.